Hello guys and welcome back to another video and yes, I know I have taken a few days off but it is all mainly because of this video. In the past few days I have spent many hours on MotoGP20 trying to qualify for this new Winter Rising Stars series. By the time of filming this, the first challenge has just ended and I'm not really sure how the points work but I got 21st out of 450 so a pretty solid result there. Just go into it a second. It's quite hard using one hand. Uh, so yeah, next challenge. I'm gonna if you just go into it. Um, next challenge is going live soon, and um, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a bit of practicing on this as well. Hopefully a few videos. So yeah, the uh, qualifying stages were pretty easy. Um, if you just want to pause the video and read the uh, the rules. In the next challenge, I will have some gameplay for you guys. For now, I'm just going to try and stick to sweating it out. So here are the leaderboards. Of course, the challenge has ended. We've got Ricky, uh, who won with a 16.005, which is an insane lap. He must have had some sort of magic setup or something like that. So yeah, as we scroll down outside the top 10, my voice just cracked. Um, yeah, we've got all of these people. We've got page, we've got like a full page separated by about less than a tenth on some of the pages. That's how insanely close it was. And there we are in 21st place with a 17.2. I had a decent setup. It wasn't actually that great. I got it off YouTube and the guy actually followed it off. I actually beat his lap time. So I, I definitely could have got a better setup. But um, yeah, I'm actually going to watch my lap. It's not the best quality. Because, of course, it's on a replay, but uh, it'll do. And here it is. The sound is a bit glitched. So, uh, yeah, of course, it might not look as fast without the vibration. But uh, trust me, it felt pretty fast. Very lucky not to be invalidated there. If you want, I'll do like a walkthrough of this lap and kind of what I'm doing as well. <clears throat> See, that sound is just not right. And that is the end of the lap. I think I will actually do a walkthrough. So into turn one, you want to brake very late. Use a tiny bit of back brake and then let it off and use the front brake so you don't like wobble to the outside. That was very lucky there. Uh, but yeah, you want to go in hot there because he, the cutback doesn't really work because it's not a good uh, long exit. I should have really gone a little bit tighter there and used the curb on the inside um, so I could, you know, switch directions easier. Uh, you want to get a nice exit there, which I didn't really go a bit wide into, go a bit hot into here, cut back, which again I didn't really do. I let off the brake mid corner and completely get on the accelerator to sit the bike up and drop down a gear here. Make sure to get a good exit, which I was I was a bit hesitant on the exit. So I might have been able to improve a little bit there. Uh, but yeah, go nice and hot into there, get a good exit. Carry a lot of speed. Into the final corner, I messed this up a little bit. Going nice and hot, get a good exit, power it out. And that is the end of the lap. So yeah, after many hours, that is the best lap time I managed. And I'm pretty proud of it, and I got 21st in the world, so it's pretty good. And uh, yeah... So anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And tell me if you want to see more content like this. Tell me whatever you want to see. And I'll try my best to do it and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.